Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Suave 2K. And today I got a special one for y'all, man. Today we're going to be talking about the tight handles badge in NBA 2K21. Now, before we get started, real quick, as always, if you're new, subscribe to this channel and like this video. It helps me out a ton. I'm going to post more 2K content throughout the year, so your support is truly appreciated. But uh, with that all out the way, let's get straight into the gameplay, man. All right, guys, so let's get started with the badge description, and it says it increases a player's ball handling ability in sides of situations, making it easier to break down the on-ball defender. So testing out this badge, I've come down to two conclusions off rip, right? The first one would be that with each badge level, you know, getting higher, your dribble speed also increases, and your ability to chain together moves more quickly does as well. And, you know, that's pretty important, especially when you are a ball handler and you're trying to you know create space and you know just create something right to get a bucket you feel me but the second part would be that it also gives the defender more of a stun animation when you do hit him with a move that you know activates it so on bronze it wasn't really a huge difference from no badge as far as dribble speeds and you know being able to combo um dribble moves together but what i did notice was that it did give you a stun animation and not an ankle breaker right it's completely different from an ankle breaker an ankle breaker it'll shift completely to one side and you know it'll get them lost but for this particular badge it, it stuns the opponent kind of like fancy footwork last year where it would stun you and you know your player would just stay still like he was a statue or something it kind of works in that way but off the dribble you know what i mean it wasn't it like i said it wasn't a huge stun but obviously it, it helps getting you a little separation but it wasn't really a huge difference from you know bronze to no badge when I did try it out on silver, uh, I definitely noticed a, a bigger increase when it came to dribble speeds and, you know, being able to combo dribble moves together. And uh, with the stun animation, it kind of felt the same as bronze, just it happened more frequently. You know what I mean? It was kind of, you know, it was kind of those same stun animations where it wasn't a huge stun, but, you know, it was it was enough to to, you know, get to the basket or get to your spot and you know that, that's pretty key another thing before i forget it was that these moves they trigger most likely when you do that little behind the back but you know the half behind the back with one hand and you know you go to the same side that move activates it a lot or another move i noticed was the misdirection where you go one way and then you just you know rip it to the other side that one gets them lost a little bit too but yeah that that half behind the back where he just like you know cuffs the ball and doesn't really do a full behind the back and just goes to the same direction that one gets him a lot so now with the gold i did notice again a, a dribble speed difference and you know being able to combo together and man y'all y'all get the point bro it increases with every badge level so bro, I'm, I'm gonna just talk about the stun animation at this point because y'all already know that uh, but um yeah so with gold the stun animation that it gives you it gave them uh, a bit more of a pause than it would with the previous two badges um and it did happen more frequently so you know that that's always a plus so gold again the stun increase was a little bit longer like the duration of it and you know it was a little it hit a little bit harder and more frequently so that was with gold now for hall of fame the stun animation that it gave you was really hard and it actually stopped the opponent like it stunned him and it stunned the opponent for you know a, a while and not not really like more than a second but enough to you know get you to where you want to go for real right for hall of fame it it was it was crazy when you did that that little one hand like half behind the bag but still go the same way that one gets them almost every time with that with Ty Handles Hall of Fame and you know what I mean that that stun animation that it gives you man it is crazy man when you when you want to combo ankle breaker tight handles and space create and all that man it's it's basically a GG like you know what I mean what what can you do at this point cuz if tight handles is not stunning you ankle breakers dropping you and if ankle breakers and and tight handles not dropping you space creator is going to make you stumble like like it is tough out here bro it's tough now, as far as the badge recommendation, uh, if you are a player that dribbles a lot and you're looking to increase your dribble speed and, you know, your reaction time from your player to your controller and stuff like that, honestly, man, 
I would recommend silver. Um, it's, you know, at least silver is what I meant. At least silver. Because when I, I put it on bronze, again, I didn't really feel a big difference from, you know, the speed wise from bronze to no badge. But silver is when I, you know, could feel it a little bit. But um, if you're looking for that stun, bro, I would go gold or hall of fame. You know what I mean? Because those two will give you the best stun animations and the most frequent stun animations. But Hall of Fame was just something else, but um, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy it and found this helpful, subscribe to this channel, like this video, man. It helps me out a ton. Uh, I post 2K content, and I'm going to continue to post 2K content for y'all, so yeah, I'd appreciate it, man. I, I really do, man, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, I'll catch y'all next time, bro. Peace!